How do you know when to trust someone and when not to trust someone? I think it is basically a matter of instinct and intuition. If someone, on the other hand, doesn't trust you and you know yourself to be a trustworthy person, the real root cause of their tr distrust might have something to do with your being not someone to distrust, but someone they fear will weaken their abilities to convince other people of something they say they believe in all the time in all situations, whereas you know it to be only applicable to some situations, say pharmaceuticals versus herbal remedies and prayer. Although I am applying this one issue to what I'm saying about the matter of trust, this is more so a matter of economic concerning. In other words, it can be applied to any situation, and what some people will do in such a situation is to undercut your character in some way or another. If you uh, character, though, is unimpeachable in its honesty, good people will see through their lie, whereas not so honest people will do one thing and one thing only. What will they do? They will gossip. In your presence or especially behind your back. It's considering this, if you want to better yourself in your daily challenges with and among others, you can start by resorting to the habit, by not resorting to the habit of gossiping, or even watch television shows where gossip and or negativity is what motivates the main topics of concerning such shows. If you need proof that Jesus himself exists and is on your side, ask them to give you a sign through one thing especially, the element of time. Time can be your enemy and time can be your friend. If you read the Bible and you want to believe it is as the literal vehicle of the prototypical truth, what do you do about the contradictions? One thing you can be sure of is this. If someone tells you they've never experienced an emotion you tell them you've experienced, not even so much as once in their entire life, do not trust them. They are lying. God made us as human beings not only particular and unique, but universal as well. You will find this ultimate truism repeated often by Jesus, not just once, but from many different perspectives. Now, if Jesus can shine a light on truth from different angles, what does this say about the literal interpretation of the Bible? It says basically the same exact thing he said, and what he said is this, the first three commandments are the most important, which definitely tells us Americans something about isolationism. And it as well tells us there are, besides these first three commandments, three absolutes to be a good Christian. Don't cross the Holy Spirit by any of the various forms of immediate or slow suicide and contain within your every action and deed absolute faith and absolute forgiveness.